You guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm going to show Shayla and the rest of you how I mix face colors to get, um, you know, different shades and that kind of thing. I don't do it that often on video because sometimes it takes a minute, but uh, if I edit it, I could. So all I'm using is a yellow and it's a primary yellow. I don't exactly know the color name. It's medium yellow from Folk Art, obviously. I'm using a red. This is called Apple Red. I'm using a little bit of classic blue, which I won't use. I'm just going to show you because people mix these differently. There's a thousand ways and some titanium white. I'm going to add, uh, add in some extender from folk art. And the only reason I'm adding that in, and I do that quite a bit when I paint is to keep the uh, paint wet. Uh, it's kind of like when I add water. But if my extender is sitting here, I add that instead. So it kind of thins it out, makes it a little bit more fluid and leaves it uh, stay wet a little bit longer. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just mixing it all up just because of doing the uh, faces. And I want to show you guys a few different kind of uh, skin tones that I just wanted a little bit wetter. You know what I'm saying? So... Again, just mixing. If I was a good editor, I would have forwarded through this part, but I'm not, so I won't. And here he is. Uh, this is fun to do, to do different skin tones. Um, I would love to do uh, darker skin tones. Um, it, it's just a matter of sitting and playing. Maybe I will start. I don't know. Sometimes I have done a couple. Um, sometimes I don't. I will tell you to grab your burnt umber or asphaltum or sienna even um, to for the last color that we do. I don't think I added it on till the end. But what you do is take equal parts of yellow and red and it's gonna make an orange. I do a little bit more yellow, um, but you have to play until you get a tone that you like. And you'll see, I mix it around. She's mixing it around. And you see, and I'm just now, you're going to see that when it dries, you could tell I didn't mix it enough. And obviously that's because I'm on video, but just take the extra second and mix it a little bit more so the colors are more thorough. I also advise, uh, I'm adding a little bit more yellow. I also advise maybe to have a few different paint brushes so you don't mix the colors like I do, but that's up to you. So you can see the color. Now I'm going to add, obviously, some white. And I'm going to thin it out. And this is when you're going to know the color that you're getting. So you see when I, <coughs> excuse me, uh, add the white to change the color. Look at that. It gives you a nice darker skin, uh, skin tone. So I'm going to move it over there. And that's my base. That'll be maybe my shadows or, you know, some of the darker shades. And I'm going to go in a little bit more and I'm going to mix it with more white and we're going to lighten it a little bit more. And you'll see as I go down this row, this is what I use a lot. Um, I will usually use the light flash from folk art as a just squirt and go kind of thing, you know, where I don't have to do it um, because I usually do folk art faces and I don't normally do shading. If I do shading, um, I'll use either two colors or uh, of the folk art flesh colors, or I do this and you're going to see, I'm going to go lighter even still. I'm mixing it even later. And I did it down there so you can see from where we started the little triangle square thing to there how much lighter it is. And obviously it's a little wet to so the reflection of the light, but it'll draw. You'll see it at the end. And then I'm adding more what? white. I don't go in for any more color. I just use what's on my brush and I take it down. Luna? And that's where I'm getting more of a, a porcelain color coming in. So this would be your highlights, you know, not necessarily any of your contouring shades, but your highlights. And I'm just using the brush on this with the white because I want it to be ever so subtle. Like for instance, my daughter, Emily, she has ridiculously white skin. Um, I wouldn't say translucent, but she has very porcelain skin. So that would be her shade right there. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my brush, take some more of the dark color. And you can see how dark. I'm gonna add a little bit more red, where on top I added a little bit more yellow. And this is gonna give you your pink undertones. Like for instance, where I did the top, I'm more yellow under my skin. So I would add more yellow to get more of that yellow undertone. This is a little bit more red. So a lot of us have, Emily has some red uh, undertones, you know, her skin. Um, so this would be more of that. Uh, you don't want to add too much because if you add too much, she looks like she's, you know, <laughs> a little bit too red. Like when my hot flashes hit, if you want to do a, a woman with a hot flash, go for it. So I'm adding some more white and we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to just keep bringing it down. If you want a little bit more pink undertone, add just the tiniest bit of red. But you can see right there the difference. Uh, in what I have and where I'm going. So I'm going to add just a little bit more red on my brush and we're going to take it to the top and blend it and to the bottom and you're going to see the difference. It just adds, see, it, and it adds a bit of a deepness to it as well. A little bit more rich, as my husband would say. Everything's rich. Not us, of course, but you know, that chocolate's rich. That paint shade, that face shade is rich. I'm going in. I'm going to add a little bit more blue and look what happens. It turns a yucky shade. Now I did this because, and this is me personally, not if you find somebody else who does these and they like a lot of blue, more power to them. I don't like adding blue in blue for me. I don't, I don't grasp it. I don't get it. It doesn't turn a shade that I want. Um, maybe if, I mean, can you see, like, I, I just don't dig it. You can see the other shades, how pretty the blue doesn't do anything for me. So I added it there to show you, but it doesn't, I, I can't use blue. I don't know why. Now, like technically when I think about it, like we have our blue veins underneath our skin. So it makes sense a little bit, but for me, I don't ever really use it. So unless I'm doing eyes. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm going to do a darker shade. I'm rinsing my brush. And I'm grabbing asphaltum, or you could grab raw umber, burnt umber, you know, a very dark brown, let's put it that way. Asphaltum is my new favorite color lately, so I'm going to be using that. That's, it's more of a transparent umber kind of thing. And I'm adding a little boop into that color there, obviously, which is a skin color. And I'm mixing it in and it's going to add a deepness and richness to it as well. And I'll swatch it. You'll see. I'm just showing you the colors, adding a teeniest bit of white to lighten it there. And that's me in the summer when I get tan. There you go. And you lighten it a little bit more if you want. You can take more white and uh, continue lightening it like we did the other ones. Now we're going to go a little bit darker. I am not an expert on dark uh, skin, darker skin. Um, I try, but I darker pigment, you know, I try. I'm trying to learn, like I said. No, so I'm am, going I'm in gonna with my yellow. Gonna dab in some coming. red for Angie Dabbin. Dabbin, dabbin, dabbin. This is for Shayla. You're good if you want to I don't know if I said whatever. that in the beginning. This is for Shayla. I think I might have. And then a little bit of white. We're mixing it. And you see, I just took the little bit, bitest of the, we'll just say dark brown. That's asphaltum, but you know. And we're getting there. We're getting there. And you mix it, mix it. Like I said, I could have taken an extra second to mix a little bit better, but. And you play. I mean, that's the fun of it is to put these colors out, get a piece of paper. It could be printer paper, whatever you got. And just sit and mix. Like I loved these darker colors that came out. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try to do a big face and shade it. That's how I love to learn to shade and do the different colors is I will just draw a big face and then try to shade, you know, 
around the forehead, the nose, around the face, you know, that kind of thing. And there you go. Just keep adding white and just keep going down the uh, scale like we did. And you'll just keep getting lighter and lighter until you get the colors that you want. Also, you can add more of the brown, the darker, and make it darker and darker. So, you know, it's a lot of fun. These, I mean, really, it's <laughs> it's red and orange. I mean, red and uh, yellow that make a orange um, and some white. And look what we did. And some brown. I mean, and you got your skin tune so easy, so you don't have to go out and buy all the bottles. Um, I do use them a lot, as you guys know, just the regular bottles, but this is just as easy, really. And I do have a wet palette now, so I will be uh, probably making skin tones and keeping them on there and using them. But look at the different shades. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know down below. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battles somebody else is fighting. Always ask me requests and questions. I love it. And... I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will uh, see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye-bye.